I'm gonna record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> What is going on people Leah here from creative tech lab and we are back today with another iMovie tutorial today specifically we're talking about the dolly zoom effect how to create it in iMovie the dolly zoom also known as the vertical effect the Hitchcock effect known by a bunch of different names specifically vertigo and Hitchcock because Alfred Hitchcock was one of the first people to use this effect in a movie specifically in his vertigo movie and it creates a really cool effect. So what it's actually doing is, it's a zoom effect typically in camera. So let's say you're zoomed all the way in on a subject and then you walk towards them while you're zooming out. And what it does, it kind of compresses the background to make it seem as if the subject is staying still but the background is moving and it creates a really cool effect in terms of highlighting a subject because everything kind of changes around the subject it draws your eyes towards it now of course we could do this in camera however a lot of times we may not go ahead and shoot something like this in camera but you can create it in post in your editing software specifically we're talking about iMovie and this effect is really cool in iMovie even though iMovie is a great software it's still a free software so it's limited in terms of the things you could do in terms of effects and transitions and all of those things that you could do with a pro grade software so adding something like this getting creative with it is a cool another effect that you could have in your repertoire to add to your videos so let's jump into the software and see how we could do it. I have a couple of different clips here that we're going to do it with real quick. All right, so we're in iMovie here and I have a couple of different clips. I'm going to play the first two clips. This is me creating the effect actually in camera. So I'm moving the camera either in or out and I'm changing the zoom setting there. I have my trusty sidekick Iron Man, who was my subject today, and my quarter in my house. So Let's just play it there. You see, he kind of stays the same. It's not 100% smooth, but he kind of stays the same and the background kind of fades out. Second clip here, he stays there and the background kind of compresses towards him. That's the effect that you normally see to bring attention. But, so, all right, so as again, like if you didn't create the effect in camera, you could definitely still do a digital zoom. So this shot is pulling out away from Iron Man. We're gonna zoom in and it's gonna make the background come a little bit closer to him now this was just an on the fly shot that i did for you guys just with iron man in my um hallway so it's not 100 percent perfect 100 percent smooth but it still will give you the effect so since it's such a small toy we're gonna go super tight on him just so i can amplify the effect for you guys and let's just see how that looks there but you should see the background compressed towards him so actually let me full screen it and see how it goes and boom see the background kind of coming towards him as he kind of stays in place and it gives you that dramatic effect there now the second clip that we have up here um, is a drone shot and it's the same thing the drone is a reveal shot and it's moving forward but if you just wanted to give it a little bit more oomph you're gonna do a similar thing so kind of well I already had an effect there so we're moving forward in this case so we want to move out so let's start um, super tight there in the center and let's see how that one looks And as you can see, that little elongation on the end of the clip there. So let me just go ahead and full screen this one for you guys here as well. Um, as you can see on this reveal shot, you can see instead of the drone just moving forward, it gives you like this cool smooth with the building and it looks like the building and the background is kind of pulling out. So it gives you a cool effect again. If that's something that you didn't shoot in camera and you just want a little extra transition or just a little bit of extra special effects again iMovie is a little bit limited so it gives you an extra option um, on something to work with just with a simple Ken Burns, Ken Burns zoom something that's already built into the software so as you can see super easy to do super cool effect um, not just on subjects but also on your landscapes and stuff you saw where it compressed the background in that drone shot so 
pretty cool effect. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, this is Creative Tech Lab where we do th talk about all things creative in terms of video creation, audio production, audio engineering, photography, animation, a whole bunch of things. The channel is just getting started. So please go ahead and hit that notification button. Drop this video a like if you like it. I do one iMovie tutorial per week and that's just until I've run out of things to say about iMovie. Even though I don't use the software as much anymore, I can remember when I was getting started and I feel like it would be prudent of me to just add my perspective to the things that I remember I wanted to know when I was getting started. So there's an iMovie um, playlist. I'll link that up here somewhere, check that out. Check out the website Creative Tech Lab for everything that we're doing. New interviews coming soon with a few different DJ producer friends of mine in another series called um, Creative Spotlight. And yeah, that is it. I don't want to talk for too long. I will catch you in the next one. Of course, some ambience and put it in the track. <laughs>